we are now in the closing round. So we had the on panel with our um, three topics of openness um, and advantages of decentralization, Chris. So if you just would like to start your wrap up. Hello. So we, no, no, I just don't think anyone's listening. That's what they say. <laughs> Free beer. Well, that did actually work. <laughs> there isn't any, but um, we had uh, advantages of distributed and open structure. We took the topic a bit broader because that weighted it too much in a particular way that maybe wouldn't lead to a constructive discussion and I guess we talked more about the some of the advantages and disadvantages and some of the practical uh, ways of running those sorts of organizations or projects. Um, some common themes that often come up with those sorts of discussions are around uh, completely distributed versus distributed with some sort of benevolent dictator or central um, driving force that has a bit of a vision. Um, then a, again, how these sorts of organizations can fund themselves as well and how they maintain a quality of uh, what is created that doesn't just vanish quickly. Um, but I guess everyone's main advantage was the, and why they're doing it in the first place, was the sharing towards uh, a common good and a common um, knowledge that everyone can access. Um, and also that is leaving behind something, if, if it does end, at least there's something there for other people to continue with without having to go through complex legal wranglings to access the information you've helped create. Does that seem a reasonable summary? I don't know. Thank you so much. I think okay. that was pretty cool. And um, Constance, maybe you'll just tell us a little bit about what happened in the blockchain and identity corner. Sure. So uh, blockchain is a relatively new technology. And the, the first instance of it, I, I, I think, as most, most know, was Bitcoin. Um, and the first use of Bitcoin was as a financial service, as a payment. And so we talked a little bit, uh, you know, I think most of the people in our circle had um, you know, as most people in the world, relatively low familiarity with blockchain. So we spent some time just talking about what it is, a protocol, um, a server, a public server, um, where people, where, th where there's a verifiable state of, of a database or, or, or a ledger. Um, we talked a little bit about um, uh, the different concerns around privacy and security. So, um, you know, right now we, we rest on central authorities, banks, governments, to manage things like identity, like our internal ledgers of our accounts, um, and what the trade-off is, and then going into um, an algorithmic-governed um, system in which you have, you know, miners or verifiers that are, and, and different economic incentives that then um, secure a, a tr what we call a trustless system. So, and, you know, another key issue that came up was that, uh, which actually really cuts at the heart of, of what blockchain is, is that it's a, it's it's public. It's a you know public state of affairs. Um, and how do you then um, also have privacy on top of that? So we talked a little bit about where the current state of the technology is and how one day we, we may be able to develop zero knowledge proofs to be able to prove things without, show, without showing the actual thing itself. So very useful for things like identity um, and, and also uh, allows us to have a much more granular level of uh, control between security and privacy, whereas you know, in the old legacy world, it was usually posited as a binary, where you, where you're, you're either secure and disconnected, or your, um, you know, your all your data is open for consumption, and that is the price of being connected to the world. So, uh, we talked a little bit about who is using this. So, um, I think you know what really came clear in our, our circle was that um, you know a lot of the perceptions of the internet, for example, are. Uh, or uh, some of the some of the early uh, misperceptions of the internet are also applicable here. So just like the internet, um, blockchain technologies have been said, oh, it's only used for the dark web, it's only used for drugs and porn. Um, and actually, we, we talked a little bit about how this is a, a, a tool, a tool that can be an infrastructure for 
for people, for participatory economies, for tokenizing our own metrics of value, uh, whereas there have been a monopoly of, of the kinds of uh, currencies and, uh, and things that represent what people value. Um, and so, so we, we talked a little bit about that. You know, I think it's early days. There's still a lot of questions to be answered. Uh, what is the best consensus mechanism for these technologies? How are we going to solve the privacy issue? Will this be used by governments as a tool of surveillance? Will this be used for people as a, as a way of empowering people? So um, there's a lot, lot to be uh, said, but there, I think we all agree that there's uh, some, some really uh, interesting, promising, and game-changing applications for technology. Okay, thank you so much. And Martin, how was it in your group? It was inclusion and decentralized communities. Um, so firstly, it was very decentralized. Um, so I think we took some long time to actually get to know all participants, and which was already quite exciting because we found out that a lot of projects out there have some angle on this topic from in a different, a different one, which was already interesting. Uh, and then we got some question to rise up. Um, for example, uh, the, the tension in a decentralized community between my urge to own something, to have the vision and to, to march in that vision, and the, 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 other, the other direction that to us to own together or to make together. So how, we, how, how do we resolve that tension? We talked a little bit about Git repository as an example for such a resolution, but then Talking about Git repository and tree branching, then there was coming another question of how, but then if, you, if everybody could just forking each other and just have multiple of direction, how you actually uh, make them to unite, to generate actual momentum in one direction or some direction. Um, we even raised the question of, okay, what decentralization is, because Probably if you ask 10 experts of decentralization what it means, you will get 10 different answers. So we are still in the stage of this revolution where we define the language, which I think is a barrier uh, for further advancement. Um, yes, and we also ask like how, I mean, as an example, we just sat in a group of 20 and exchange ideas, but how do we take it home and, and keep continue the collaboration among ourselves um, you know, in day to day? That's roughly that. Yeah, thank you so much. So this was our panel, um, basically, and um, how does our decentralized future look like? How could it look like? And what it means for us as a community or multiple communities and where it could go? And yeah, and um, Ali also wants to um, have a word. Um, for wrapping up our session. Yeah, I'd like to actually quote one of our circle participants who at the end, like, because her neighbor asked her, like, did she get her answer? And she said, and I think it can define this whole workshop experiment. She said, I leave feeling that I'm not alone and it makes me feel really happy. So like whatever problems, whatever questions arose is like, there are others that you, than you, others like you, and even in the very different areas. So there is something we can all share. Thank you so much. I think that's uh, really beautiful to, uh, to conclude our decentralization track for today. Um, the day will not end. Uh, there will be uh, two possibilities for you to um, uh, go to the satellite events for the evening. So one is a sofa concert and one is like um, a bar where you can go and hang out and network and socialize with um, the community members. And you find all the information on the website. And there will be also um, a few more decentralization tracks actually. Um, on Friday there will be RL Balkan having um, a talk. And then tomorrow there will be also a Bitcoin workshop and um, a workshop on privacy. So um, thank you very much all for being here. Thank you guys. And um, thank you, Auli. And it was really enjoyable. Thank you, Joachim. <laughs> and yeah, we wish you all a great evening. And um, yeah, uh, happy two more uh, We Share Days. <laughs>